Back in action tonight. A lot of questions. They have 40 new players, a new quarterback, and a new offensive coordinator. So how would they look when they travel to the Nutmeg State to take on Connecticut? Well, Brennan Armstrong getting the start at quarterback and the first TD of the year for the Wolfpack is the left-hander who once played at UVA. He takes it in. The running game, pretty deep for the Wolfpack this year. Michael Allen, the former J.H. Rose star, had four carries for 30 yards, but it was this guy finishing it off. Dilbert with the touchdown. Armstrong threw for 155, rushed for 95. This was his second TD of the game. NC State survives their trip to UConn, 24 to 14. Wake Forest had its season opener. They hosted neighbor Elon, 13th all-time meeting. Mitch Griffiths, the new starting quarterback, was 19 of 30, 329 yards, and he threw for three TDs. Check out Jamal Banks for this incredible catch. He led the way with 100 yards receiving. Wake Forest, no problems. They get the 37-17 win over the Elon of Phoenix. Right down the seam and wide open. North Carolina A&T made the trip from Greensboro to Birmingham to take on UAB. First game for Trent Dilfer as the Blazers head coach. He has Jacob Zeno as his quarterback. He threw for 291 and three touchdowns. A&T never had a chance. They fall in this one 35 to six. Going through the ball eight times to the Aggies in this game. Campbell moved into the CAA this season. They kicked off league play by hosting fourth ranked William and Mary. Haji Malik Williams, 226 yards passing for the Campbells. He finds VJ Wilkins. We're all tied at 14 apiece. But then Bronson Yoder, he's going to be one of the part of the running game. The quarterback keeps it here. And then Darius Wilson, that QB. Uh, he left. would throw for a couple of touchdowns. Lucas. Will Whitehurst, the former Dale G.H. Conley, punter. One tackle. punt for 43 yards. William and Mary gets the win at Bowie's Creek by 10. Barton College starting off its fourth season of football. Hosted Chowan. Beautiful night in Wilson. And check out former Aiden Grifton star Michael Webb. The first of his two interceptions. What a way to start the season for number 28. As this one would set up the first of many touchdowns for the Bulldogs, including yeah, Jordan Terrell. Rushed for 187 yards, and this score, Barton rolls in its opener, 41 to nothing. It's a good start from Chip Hester and company in Wilson. ECU plays at Michigan Saturday. The Pirates a 35-point underdog. Mike Houston not publicly announcing his starting quarterback yet, but most think Mason Garcia will get the first snaps of the game. He's in his fourth year, had a good fall camp. He says the game finally slowing down for him, where he feels confident playing at the big house. Once you stop pressing, you know, and go out there and know who you are and know what you have around you, it kind of slows everything uh, down for you. And obviously being prepared on film and, and, and knowing the plays really well too. So that's just going to keep coming together. Do you feel like it's your time? Are you, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, there was a couple days in camp, you know, where I felt like, you know, I need to grow a little more. But, you know, those days are going to come, you know. So not every day is going to be perfect, but you just continue to grow and get better. Look, he has game experience, started one game in 2020 through his first TD pass in 2021 as a really good running game to lean on. We do expect Alex Flynn from Asheville to play against Michigan as well. Here are other games we'll be keeping an eye on for Saturday. A lot of home games, Wesleyan, Elizabeth City, App, Central, Charlotte, Lenore Ryan, all will be at home coming up this Saturday. Friday Night Football, only one game features undefeated teams, South Central and North Pitt playing Friday, 7 o'clock. CJ Wilson likes what's happening with his North Pitt Panthers. Focus about their craft, and, and it's, it's 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 a beautiful thing to see when I'm out there, like from year one, year two, how they take approach of practice. Lets me know that we're gonna have a better season because you play how you practice, and we are practicing very good. His nephew, Famous Wilson, is his quarterback, one of three nephews on the team for CJ. Going to be a great game with them in South Central. Here's some other interesting games. Newburn and West Craven now postponed. They will not play tomorrow night. North and North will play Tuesday. Martin and Northside, September 21st. And finally, do some uh, minor league baseball, where the Downey Wood Ducks lost to the Mudcats 7-4, so their second half chance is about done. But they're going to make the playoffs anyways because they won the first half title, Downey.